You know, W. Edwards Deming, the sort of guru of modern manufacturing quality, once famously said that you can't inspect quality into a part. Well, that's true, you still have to inspect parts to get quality. I'm with Bruce Zimmerman, he's sales engineer at Mutatoyo America. And Bruce, we're standing in front of a camera-based inspection system. Tell me about it. Yes, yep. This is what we call our quick image system. It's got a uh, telecentric lens. Telecentric means that it's going to allow for a, a bigger depth of field. Uh, makes for a nice, clear, crisp image. Gives a nice big field of view. This is about an inch. Okay. So this kind of system is geared toward anybody that needs to make uh, quality measurements and make them accurately, but yet simple. Okay. So mm -hmm. simple is the big thing in, in technology today. Just try to make it simple. Mm -hmm. So what we've done here is we've got a highly uh, accurate system. It's got a nice stage on it, so you can move this around. It knows where it is at all times. You've got fine adjustment. That was my course adjustment. So you can make measurements of big parts and small parts. And I'm, what I've got here is a small part, our training block. But, but what I show you right here will apply to bigger parts as well. Software is set up to be easy to use. It's icon driven. We select what we want to do. So let's say I want to measure a circle. What we'll do is just click right on the circle. It finds all the edge points, so you're using um, automated detection of the edges. We say OK. It gives you a list of the measurements that you'd like, diameter, radius, things like that. You can put in a tolerance and a, and a, and a, a, a nominal to get a pass or fail disposition. Shows you the dimension on your screen. Now, if you have to, you can also magnify this a little bit. You can zoom in. In fact, you can zoom in quite a bit, so you can get in there and get small radii and things like that. So if we wanted to grab a distance between, like this overall length, mm -hmm. this is going to require a different tool before we use a circle tool. Now we use a, a box tool, shaped like a box, so we get that edge. We say OK to that. Here I'm going to use two tools to get that whole edge. And that's my dimension, so that's going to be the, the length of this. Yeah. Okay. Now, so, Bruce, you bring up circles here, and I'll say, of course, uh, pierced, drilled holes. This is a very, very common application in a manufacturing production right. environment. Down there. Circles are kind of a, of a tough thing because it's you have a nominal radius or diameter of a circle, mm -hmm. but you also have p position in your next wide plane to think about in a circle, but also Correct. concentricity. Sure. Is, the, is how round it is. Sure. And I'm thinking about is depending on, of course, how deep you want to drill, a circle becomes less of a circle and more of a jagged, wavy kind of, yes. a, a, of a hoop at this point. This yeah. Now in this case, you see that this, this machine has the ability to define the diameter of a circle, also its position in, in the XY plane. Correct. Yeah. When you have this information, this data, uh, can you extract it from the machine and then use that down, uh, downstream? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. You can comp your, your CNC milling machine based on what you get out of here. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about true position and things like that, yeah. position, you're going to have to set up some kind of a datum. I didn't do that in this example. Yeah. So you want to make, you know, maybe this would be your zero zero. Yeah. So now you get true position based on whatever that datum is. Okay. Okay. So yeah. you can correlate your inspection to sort of the way these things are laid out, for example, on an, on an assembly drawing or correct. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Yep. Okay. This sounds useful. This is this is quite a compact system. Would you typically see this used in a quality lab or in a front office environment? Would you put this in a tool room? Yeah, so, so this kind of system was really meant to be a shop floor system, if you like. Mm -hmm. They're rugged. I mean, this is, thing's got some real, some real girth to it. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's stable. It's going to wear really well. They last forever. So it really can be a shop floor system. Um, so that was my easy tr template there, right? So let's take a look at this. And so you can see that we've got a pretty big depth of feel. Yeah. So it's meant to be nice and simple to use. Okay. So color camera as well. You can take pictures of this. People will take this, you know, and, and, and take a screenshot yeah. and overlay that on top of their measurements and have nice reports as well. Oh, okay. I noticed that depth of field, of course, is always the $64,000 question in, in any inspection system. Right. As magnification goes up historically, depth of field goes down. And that can right. create a real challenge if right. your part's got any Z-axis dimension. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yep. And you still have that same challenge here. We're at a lower, the telecentric lens, one of the benefits, the biggest benefit is that it's going to kind of give you that bigger depth of field. Mm -hmm. So it makes it simpler. Um, and also a nice big field of view. Uh, as, we, as we magnify this though, you will start to see the depth of field is 
it's a little bit, it's, it's not going to be quite as Yeah, quite as standard crisp. optical. Yeah. yeah. Yep. The physics And this is actually, when, when we magnify here on this, on this system, um, this is an optical zoom. Yes. So again, it's going to be a little bit blurrier and stuff. Sure. You still pick edges very well. Yep. Mitchell has many other systems that, that have higher magnifications and different applications, but this is kind of our, our nice ease of use system, uh, mm -hmm. entry level, mm -hmm. still got some accuracy, but yet pretty easy to use. Mm -hmm. Uh, with this this equipment, we recommend this for job shop application, uh, some, at the end of an assembly line, uh, large business, small business. Where, where does this equipment fit into the manufacturing spectrum? Both. Yeah, good question. So, so really, job shops. We see a lot of this be, being used in job shops, um, but it could be anywhere. It could be for first part inspection. It could be it could be right out on the shop floor um, at the end of an assembly line. Mm -hmm. Really, very general use uh, type of system. Mm -hmm. Now, would you, um, from a training perspective, would you need someone who's already qualified on on other inspection systems to learn this, or could you take an operator, for example, who's reasonably bright and cold, and say you're going to be the inspector, learn how to use this system? Right. Yeah, we find with this system. Um, Pretty much like we go through about a half a day of training to get somebody up and running to operator level. Mm -hmm. If you want to get into datum and true positions, then you need a little bit more background of, of how do I do alignments and, and just kind of general measurement knowledge, mm -hmm. right? Then you get into a one or two day training. But yeah, definitely um, operators, it's meant to be as, as to the operator level as it possibly can be. Mm -hmm. Easy to use camera based inspection from Mutatoyu.